I'm David Grissom, I live in Austin, Texas. I grew up in Louisville, Kentucky. Not exactly a hotbed of music, but my uh, grandfather played drums a little bit, my mother played piano by ear a little bit, and uh, I, of course, it's kind of the usual suspects, got me into music, the Beatles, the Stones, Hendrix, the Allman Brothers. Living in Louisville, there was all this bluegrass and country stuff going on, so I got to hear Doc Watson, Norman Blake, and my father loved Waylon Jennings and Johnny Cash. All these different styles sort of melted into me. The defining moment when I knew I wanted to play guitar was when I, I got Revolver by the Beatles, and the lick at the end of Got to Get You Into My Life, I heard that and it was like, I gotta play guitar. And that was, yeah, that, I mean, I can remember that moment. The first paying gig I can remember, I think I was 16. I just remember the feeling at the end of the night if somebody handed me like, you know, 25 bucks or 30 bucks and thinking, this is, this is all right. Since I moved here, I met Joe Ely and did a six year uh, stint with him where I got to tour all over the world. That was the situation I felt where I really developed a style that I could call my own and I really sort of uh, started in incorporating this pedal steel approach to the electric guitar into my playing. And then I worked with John Mellencamp for three years, which is another great experience in a different way, you know, going from clubs to arenas. And then uh, the experience of making records with him was really educational. And at the end of that tenure, I got to go out with the Allman Brothers for three weeks. If you had told me that when I was 16, that one day I was actually going to be standing next to Greg Allman playing Dreams, I don't think I would have believed you, but, it, you know, that was a real highlight. I am always looking for something else to take the tone to the next level. I got a call from a guy here in Austin about this new cable that he had heard and knew the guys that were making it, and it was a real high-end cable, which to me meant expensive. I plugged in my favorite cable straight into the amp, listened to it, thought, well, that sounds great. And then I plugged in the Astro cable, and I was like, you're kidding me. It was just this great sensation of, again, playing higher up on the neck and the notes were warm and punchy, not bright and brittle. Uh, and, you know, it was like all of a sudden the cable didn't really seem very expensive. You'll hear the difference in this cable. And if I understand correctly, they even offer a money back guarantee. It's interesting too, because I've heard other guys that I really respect totally on the bandwagon with this cable. They all describe it a little different, how they hear it. And that's sort of the beauty of music, and I think uh, how we interpret things. This cable really encompasses the things that I look for sonically in a guitar and an amplifier and just help me, help me get to where I want to be.